we shot out in an abandoned ranch house, and this place was just smack dab in the middle of nowhere. No running water, no electricity, no anything. We had to bring all that stuff in. So there's nothing out there except for flies. And they're always landing on the actors' heads. Are they poking me? It looks like we're about to die, and we narrowly escape from that. Nothing ever works out for for Jesse and, and Walt. Oh, so my life is not the priority here because I'm gonna be dead soon anyway. That's your point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to, to maintain that sort of odd couple relationship because we're from completely different backgrounds. Our reference points are totally different. Our ages are different. Everything we like is different. And the more that we grind it out, I think the more compelling it is and the more dramatic it will be. Sometimes maybe you do feel sorry for her because you think, my God, she's the most patient person. She's putting up with a lot. But to me, that is a, the mark of a very strong person, somebody who's able to shoulder that. The whole Tiara thing, I just find it bewildering that Marie. I didn't believe the... Marie. The, you, Anne and I always, right away, I felt like we had a really good chemistry. <laughs> I think if we didn't have that, our sister relationship wouldn't be believable. And though Marie just is a constant sort of niggler, um, she is there when it counts. Do you want to find this guy? Yeah, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hank's a very confident character in Albuquerque. He knows himself, he knows his world, he loves doing what he does, but he's never really faced the big leagues. And this was our chance to say, okay, Hank, you, you talk the talk and you walk the walk. <laughs> Kind of a dramatic, uh, um, a scary situation I find myself in. We had four cameras that day. Those squibs uh, that they shoot off, you know, they could they could hurt you, and they definitely get in your eyes. And so you got to r really be careful. When the glass breaks, we have to be careful. It's not a good day to come in hungover. We do the effect of the gun. We had uh, many, many bullet hits in the ground. That we use a larger squib with some dust and some cork that we bury in the ground. I shoot Tuco. We lucked out and did a great shot where you actually see me shoot him, and. I go pop and he takes it in the head and he just, you know, took the shot perfectly. And that was all I've time in real time, you know. It's nice to play it like real life. In real life, I don't care how tough you are, that's gonna stick with you, that's gonna haunt you. And we thought to ourselves, you know, we gotta be true to our series here and, and have consequences, have actions.